our video of how to erect the uh, 2021 Isabella Passion. Um, straight out of the box, first thing you need to do when you're taking off the back of the car is to make sure that it's level um, so that you get a good night's sleep. And to do that, you can use the corner steadies. There's three corner steadies fitted two to the rear and one to the near side front. So once the corner stead is down, next thing you need to do is open the back and inside the back you will find a box. This is the box that when it arrived from the factory contained the jockey wheel, the handle for the corner stead is and also the legs, which we're about to demonstrate, and the crossbar, which we'll come back to later. So to assemble the legs, you put the extending piece in there. You will need to adjust this later once you've folded the lid back. Then you put the other part of the base in like so. to the rail, pull it back and that allows the spring retainer to pop out. This goes on to the offside two rails so that when you fold it over. Okay so once you've got the support legs installed you then need to release the top half of the trailer from the bottom and to do that there are two release catches. One just inside by the kitchen which you release and then the other one around to the front offside which needs to be released like so. Once you've released that you can then unfold the trailer all the way over. Go. Okay so once you've unfolded the lid and adjusted the supporting legs you can unstrap these four bungee clips to access the canvas. And you need to just partially unfold the canvas like so. Then the last remaining item from the box with the jockey wheel was the cross member. You need to undo two zips to access the front holes and you probably need to just lift that up at one end to insert the middle section. Once you've done that, do the, do the two zips up again. That will hold everything in place and you pull the awning up in a moment. So to pull the canvas up what I suggest you do is actually support yourself at least one foot on the base of the trailer and then pull the whole canvas section up towards you and keep pulling it until it folds over. What you then need to do is to access inside the awning. Okay, so once you've got inside the awning next thing you need to do is to release the front legs which are held in place by a bit of velcro and there's one of those on either side. Release these brown clamps and extend the awning slightly. Don't worry about tensioning it at this stage just literally to, to pull the canvas out a little bit and again it's the same on both sides and then you need to pull this little trigger out push it all the way to the top until it clicks back into place and again you need to do that on both sides. So after you've got those poppers in place what you do is release the brown cable again, brown catch again, pull it 
forward like so again I'll do that on both sides and then you need to adjust the height on the front like so only do it very roughly to start with because you want to put the panel in before you finally tension the awning if you've ordered your camplet with a kitchen inside the kitchen there'll be stored some of your accessory items that you need to carry on erecting the camp so in there you see that you've got washing up bowl the peg bag the base draft excluder the water tank and the pelmet with pockets. Then in there you've got the shower attachment which has got a rechargeable electric water pump and cutlery holder. So when you unfold the kitchen um, the legs are clipped into position like so. What you need to do is just release the grub screws extend the two parts of the extendable legs on both legs like so and then just adjust it so it's taking some of the weight off the back of the trailer tent itself and this loop that slides out then becomes the holder for the washing up bowl here we can see we've got all the frame laid out we've got the frame for the canopy along with the rafters there's three of those for the canopy the veranda pole the wardrobe fitting and the center rafter for the main awning the two items we need next are the wardrobe pole and the rafter so to insert the wardrobe pole it's best just to put it on at the lower end you can turn these fittings around to make them fit, like so, and then push the whole raft, the whole pole upwards, and then fit it to these vertical poles, like so. Then you've got the centre rafter. This fitting rests against the frame, like that. And then you've got a piece that clips onto the front rail like so and tension and clip secure like that so this is the black draft excluder uh, we fitted most of it but basically you've got a little extension piece there which clips on using these plastic hooks onto the upright bars and then the whole thing's held in place with poppers either side and a zip which actually fixes to the main main awning. Yep. Okay. Once you've got your black draft skirt on, you can then put up the pelmet. It's got lots of handy pockets in and also curtains for the sleeping quarters. And it's just held on with clips and bungees to the frame. And then at the bottom, it pops on to the actual draft skirt, like so. And there's three poppers in the middle as well. Okay, so next thing we want to do is to actually peg out our awning. Just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just really gonna do the four corners. So this corner comes out perpendicular from the side of the trailer. Okay, then fitting the, uh, the front canopy frame, there's a, a zipped sleeve that goes across the front. So you slide it into the pockets as required 
and do the zip up. Best way to do that is to make sure that the legs are fully retracted before you put it down. The canopy rafter poles fit with these plastic clips through the pockets in the front of the awning and onto the front bar that we've just erected there. You can then go ahead and tension that by making sure that the spike on the bottom of the leg fits through one of the holes on the white tape. You pull that up and clamp it to tension it like so and then do exactly the same on the other side. So the camplet comes with the veranda bar as standard and it simply fits into the pockets that are sewn into the side panels. It can be used on either side but bear in mind on the other side you've got the kitchen which makes it a little bit more tricky to use. It's just purely so that you can so when you first unpack your camplet you'll notice that the cushions are all stored like this um, so that you can fit your awning poles and the bag in the space between those two cushions there so these two cushions are for the lid side which has got a built-in backrest you can fold up like so on both sides to little eyelets that are welded into the frame of the trailer to give you your two-seater seat uh, and one other thing while we're here you remember that we put the wardrobe bar in earlier on you can zip this up and the wardrobe bar is in there so you can hang, hang a few clothes in there between the two sections of the sleeping area <laughs>